We're comparing it to Volkswagen, a company that has sold, what, 30 times more vehicles last year. So yeah. does this rally make sense? Just 30 times more. And, and obviously the metrics get uh, a little even uh, even a little crazier when you look at uh, things like just uh, simple profitability and, and revenue and so forth. Uh, but but this is, uh, for, for all the reason to sort of be skeptical based on these sort of relative value metrics, uh, you look at uh, even what uh, Volkswagen CEO Herbert Dees has said recently. He's talked about the idea that uh, cars are going to become, uh, you know, the ultimate sort of connected device, mobile device. And, you know, in that regard, uh, Tesla, you know, it, it makes more sense looking at what they have at the product that they have on the market, uh, that they're valued uh, where they are. And, and this is a, com a company that for all the attention on, you know, the range of its electric vehicles, the performance of cars like the Model 3, the Model S, uh, they also have, you know, cool stuff like Elon Musk overnight is tweeting with his followers about, you know, being able to play Minecraft on the screen of your car. So, uh, you know, th there are other reasons to sort of uh, consider when uh, valuing this company. And, of course, this is one that uh, the, the short sellers have been in love with, and Elon Musk has made it a real kind of goal to squeeze them out. How much of the recent kind of move in market gain and then therefore valuation of the business is driven by getting rid of uh, some of the short positions? Well, we've heard uh, S3 Partners, which uh, tracks this sort of data, uh, talk about the idea that uh, the, the am amount uh, that, that short covering has sort of contributed to this rise in the stock hasn't been that much. Uh, and that sort of suggests that actually, you know, a as these shorts get squeezed and they are perhaps sort of forced into covering their shorts, that that actually could be a sort of a reason for the stock to continue its gains, that we haven't seen that covering uh, activity to this point. Uh, whether that's still the case today uh, sort of remains to be seen. I haven't seen anything fresh out of S3 or, or some of the other researchers that track that, that activity. Have we mentioned Musk's uh, payout yet? <laughs> what, just, what, what, how much was it? It's just, a lot uh, of money, right? Something around like $360 million. Okay. And, and to be clear, uh, the $100 billion mark that, uh, that they've uh, surpassed, he's going to have to su sustain that for a few months, as you oh. mentioned earlier. Uh, so mm -hmm. the, the trailing 30-day average uh, for the stock and the trailing uh, six-month average for the stock will have to stay above that level for him to, uh, to get that nice little payday. And to stay there, Craig, how much do we need to see real live kind of manufacturing milestones continue to be hit, you know, real company kind of stuff rather than sort of just hype and belief? Yeah, you know, the, the China plant was a huge uh, bit of progress for them in that regard. Uh, this is a company that's sort of notorious for setting uh, big goals, making big promises and falling short. Uh, they were able to get that plant up and running in roughly a year, which is sort of unheard of in the auto industry. Uh, he's now got, got to follow through on uh, executing on the Model Y. Uh, Musk, uh, during the last earnings call, talked mm. about how uh, they would uh, be ahead of schedule on that. And there's some sort of speculation right. that uh, they could uh, you know, bring that out in the next uh, couple months.